congratulations on your purchase of the Blickman Engineering Tower of Power Modular Brewing System. In this video, we will cover operation of your Tower of Power controller in manual mode and the Tower of Power stand, as well as proper sanitation of your system after use. We also recommend that you watch our Tower of Power instructional video to view proper setup of your system prior to use. Before powering up your Tower of Power, please make sure that the kettles associated with your controllers are filled with sufficient liquid. Adding heat to an empty pot will cause permanent damage. To start, let's review proper controller operation. The set display on your Tower of Power indicates the desired temperature, while the act display gives the current or actual temperature. To increase or decrease the temperature of your mash or hot liquor tank, simply press the up or down arrows. During this time, the set temp display will flash. Once you reach your desired target temperature, press the enter button. The set display will now stop flashing. Leaving the button depressed will increase or decrease the temperature setting rapidly. Next, let's take a look at the controller selector switch options. The selector switch on the controller has three options, auto, reset, and on. In auto mode, the digital control will automatically turn your burner on and off based on the controller temperature setting. In reset mode, the controller will disable the igniter feature. You will also want to select this mode if the igniter is unable to generate a flame within 10 seconds. Changing the selector switch to the on position allows the user to override the digital controller and add heat at their discretion. Your tower power controller will also sound an alarm horn, indicating that the burner is about to ignite. You will also hear the alarm horn when the flame has been lost and the controller cannot reignite the burner. When this happens, immediately turn the selector switch to reset. This will deactivate the gas valve and ignition sequence. Keeping the selector in this position for three seconds will reset the ignition controller, allowing you to switch the selector back to auto and continue with automatically controlling your temperature. Please note that as you ramp toward your chosen temperature, the burner will remain on until you approach the set point. Within a degree of the set point, the controller will go into a 30 second cycle mode. You will notice a slight temperature overshoot of the return ward. However, the temp of the mash will always stay within a 0.5 degree tolerance band. On the right hand side of your tower of power stand is the pump selector switch. In on mode, both the pump and the pump alarm will be activated. In silence mode, the pump will run, but the alarm will be disabled. In the off position, neither the pump nor the pump alarm will run. During the heating process, we suggest aiming for a degree and a half per minute ramp rate for best results. This can be accomplished by adjusting the three-way valve to throttle the flow. The current flow rate will then be shown in the flow meter on your tower. To read your current flow rate, simply line up the top of the red float to the corresponding flow rate. Our unique flow meter allows you to not only precisely control your recirculation rate, but will also alert you to a pending stuck mash or too low of a recirculation rate. To set the low flow switch, line up the bottom of the orange switch body with the flow level you want to initiate the alarm. Once the flow drops below this point, an alarm will sound alerting you to the problem. Should you experience any bits of grain lodged in the valve or flow meter, simply open the throttling valve quickly to dislodge the particles and then return to the original flow. This will ensure you're not receiving a false indication of a stuck mash. We have designed the valve operation of the Tower of Power to be incredibly intuitive to operate. This custom-made three-way valve will turn the flow off in the centered position. To open the flow, simply turn the valve all the way to the left or right depending on your setup. Any variance in between will throttle your flow accordingly. We have also included a wart sampling port just beneath the three-way valve. To take a sample at any time during your brewing process, simply open up the valve. Another advantage of the Tower of Power is its ability to work with Blickman Engineering's Auto Sparge, allowing you to precisely control all aspects of your brewing process. All that is needed to utilize your Auto Sparge is a stainless steel pipe tee. This will allow you to connect it to your hot liquor tank and the mash recirculation simultaneously 
with no need to switch hoses at sparge time. Once your brew day is complete, cleanup is incredibly easy. Simply fill a bottling bucket with hot PBW, raise it above the pump, and connect with a hose to the inlet of the pump. Open all valves and turn the pump on, making sure that the outlet hose from the pump goes back into the bottling bucket. Then open the sampling port to purge any air out of the system and close once flow begins. Run for 15 minutes, drain, and then repeat the process with star sand. That's it. Prior to your first brew day, we suggest you use plain water to initially test your system and become familiar with the response and operation of your tower of power. Doing so will ensure you achieve repeatable results each and every time you brew. Your tower of power also has the ability to automatically control your mash profile through your PC computer. With the purchase of the optional data cable, you can connect your tower of power controller to your computer to remotely monitor your mash, as well as create unlimited mash profiles. We encourage you to watch our Tower of Power Link software video for more information on this advanced feature. If you ever have any questions or comments about any of our great products, contact your Blickman Engineering retailer or contact us directly through our webpage, www.blickmanengineering.com. And be sure to stay up to date with all of our exciting new releases. Have a great brew day.